maybe it wasn't Coke. Let's say it was anthrax. How, how did you allow a dangerous poison powder to get into the private residence of the president himself? This is bothersome. And the Secret Service comes out comes out yesterday and we don't know, folks. Now, first of all, I don't believe that they don't know. You can't convince me that this group, which is the top stellar security group on planet Earth, charged with guarding the lives of the president, all of the first family, the most important members of the administration. Secret Service is there day in and day out. And they have to be on guard. They have to watch. They have to make sure that they know exactly what the threat to the president is at all times. How can a security service that is that good not be interested enough to find out who the culprit was that brought a poisonous white powder into the White House. Oh, the, the, the question, the answer is simple. <laughs> they do know. The White House is telling everyone to lie to us. That's the, that's the unsaid thing here. Of course they know. You got surveillance camera footage. You got visitors logs. You've got fingerprints on the dime bag. Come on. This is not that hard. You've got, you've got registration of when, when a certain member of the family came into the White House. And you have registration of when the family member left the White House on the visitor's log. Besides that, you've got the surveillance tape time-coded. What time did this, this member of the first family enter in the White House? What time did they leave? Uh, when was the thing discovered shortly after their departure? This is, this is dumb. This is so easy. And that's the frustration. Because nobody believes when the Secret Service says yesterday, oh, well, we, we couldn't find a culprit. We couldn't find a suspect. We, we have no idea. Nobody believes that. If this had been, uh, by the way, a different administration, let's say one with uh, the last name of Trump or Bush or Reagan, and their kid had come in with a dime bag of Coke and left it somewhere, there would be screams from the hottest hill. Investigate, investigate. Don't stop until you've found the culprit. And they would have been outed and they would have been uh, ridiculed. The press would have excoriated the president for allowing it to happen, et cetera, et cetera. So don't give us this. I mean, we're not morons. You think we are. But that's your mistake. We're not. 